Imagine a computer so powerful it could solve problems that are currently impossible for our most advanced machines. Welcome to the world of quantum computing, a realm where the laws of physics as we know them are turned on their heads and where the binary ones and zeros of classical computing are replaced by quantum bits or qubits that can be both one and zero at the same time. This is the world of quantum computers, a new breed of machines harnessing the strange and counterintuitive principles of quantum mechanics. These revolutionary computers represent a significant departure from classical computing. They operate not just on binary bits, but on quantum bits, which, unlike their classical counterparts, can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This property, known as superposition, allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data at a time, potentially solving complex problems that are currently out of reach for classical computers. Quantum computers could revolutionize a broad range of industries, they could accelerate drug discovery, optimize complex systems like global logistics or weather predictions, and even break the cryptographic codes that keep the internet secure. The implications of this technology are vast and far-reaching, but despite the potential, quantum computers are still in their infancy. Scientists and engineers around the world are racing to overcome significant technical challenges like error correction and qubit scalability to build practical, powerful quantum computers. Yet, even as we grapple with the challenges of today, we can't help but look to the future. What will quantum computers mean for artificial intelligence, for cryptography, for our understanding of the universe itself? The possibilities are as vast as the cosmos. So what makes these quantum computers so revolutionary? Let's dive into the principles of quantum computing. At the heart of quantum computing lies quantum mechanics, one of the most mysterious areas of physics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that dives into the behavior of particles at the microscopic level. It's a realm where the traditional laws of physics we're familiar with start to break down, and strange phenomena such as superposition and entanglement come into play. Superposition is a principle that allows a quantum particle to be in multiple states at the same time. Imagine flipping a coin. In the classical world, it's either heads or tails. But in the quantum world, it's like the coin is in a state of being both heads and tails simultaneously. This is the principle that quantum bits or qubits are based on. A qubit is the basic unit of quantum information. Unlike classical bits that can be either zero or one, a qubit can be zero, one, or both at the same time thanks to superposition. This means that a quantum computer can process a vast number of possibilities all at once, potentially solving complex problems much faster than classical computers. But the magic of quantum computing doesn't stop at superposition. There's also entanglement, another quantum phenomenon that Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance. When qubits become entangled, the state of one qubit becomes linked to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. Change the state of one, and the other changes instantaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform complex calculations with incredible speed. Quantum mechanics is a wild, often counterintuitive field, but it's these very peculiarities that make quantum computing so powerful. By harnessing the principles of quantum mechanics, we're able to build computers that work in ways that were once thought to be impossible. These principles allow quantum computers to work in a fundamentally different way than classical computers. Now that we know the principles behind quantum computing, how do these futuristic machines actually work? At the heart of quantum computing are qubits, the quantum equivalent of classical bits. While classical bits can be either one or zero, qubits can exist in both states simultaneously, thanks to a property known as superposition. This means that a quantum computer with two qubits could potentially represent four different states at once. This number doubles with each additional qubit, leading to an exponential increase in computational power. But that's not all. Qubits can also influence each other through a phenomenon known as entanglement. When qubits are entangled, the state of one qubit can instantly affect the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. This allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data at once. Quantum computers use quantum algorithms, which are fundamentally different from classical ones. Quantum algorithms take advantage of superposition and entanglement to process information in a way that classical computers simply can't. This makes quantum computers potentially capable of solving complex problems much faster than classical computers. For instance, factorizing large numbers into primes is a notoriously difficult task for classical computers, but a quantum computer using Shor's algorithm could do it in a fraction of the time. Similarly, searching large databases for specific entries is much faster on a quantum computer using Grover's algorithm. It's important to note, however, that quantum computers aren't just faster versions of classical computers. 
they're a whole new kind of machine, designed to solve a different set of problems. While they excel at certain tasks, there are many others for which classical computers are still more efficient. In essence, quantum computers harness the strange and counterintuitive principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations in ways that are currently beyond the reach of even the most powerful classical computers. The potential power of quantum computers is immense, but what exactly can they do? Quantum computers hold the promise of revolutionizing many fields, from drug discovery to artificial intelligence. Let's dive deeper into some of these potential applications and see how they can benefit from quantum computing. Firstly, drug discovery. The traditional process of drug development is a long and costly one, often taking several years and billions of dollars. Quantum computing, with its immense processing power, can simulate the interactions of molecules at an unprecedented scale, potentially leading to breakthroughs in medication and treatments. Next, artificial intelligence. Classic computers use binary logic, limiting their capability in handling complex AI tasks. Quantum computers, on the other hand, can process vast amounts of data simultaneously, making them ideal for powering sophisticated AI algorithms. Cryptography is another field set to be transformed. Today's encryption systems rely on the difficulty of factoring large numbers, a task that could be accomplished much faster with quantum computing. This could lead to both an encryption arms race and the development of new quantum-resistant encryption methods. Material science also stands to gain. Designing new materials with specific properties is a complex and time-consuming process. Quantum computers could simulate the behavior of atoms and molecules, speeding up the design of new materials and leading to innovations in everything from renewable energy to aerospace engineering. In logistics and supply chain management, quantum computing could optimize routes and distribution in real time, handling variables and changes far more efficiently than current technologies. These examples are just scratching the surface. Quantum computing could also revolutionize fields like weather forecasting, financial modeling, and even the exploration of space. These applications are just the tip of the iceberg for quantum computing. The future holds even more possibilities. As we look to the future, the impact of quantum computing could be profound. Quantum computers, harnessing the principles of quantum mechanics, have the potential to solve complex problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. This could lead to a revolution in computation, with far-reaching implications for technology, science, and the global economy. Imagine a future where quantum computers are commonplace. They could drive technological advancements, enabling us to create more powerful artificial intelligence, crack previously unbreakable codes, and simulate the behavior of matter down to the molecular level. This could lead to breakthroughs in drug discovery, material science, and many other fields. In the realm of scientific discovery, quantum computers could unlock new frontiers. They could help us understand the universe's deepest mysteries, from the origins of the cosmos to the nature of dark matter and energy. They could also revolutionize our understanding of complex systems, from the human brain to global climate patterns. Quantum computing could also have profound impacts on the global economy. It could drive productivity and innovation, creating new industries and jobs. It could also disrupt existing industries, from finance to cybersecurity, and force us to rethink our approaches to privacy and security in the digital age. But with these potential benefits come challenges. We need to address questions about the ethical use of quantum computing, ensure its benefits are widely shared, and prepare for its potential disruptions. We also need to continue investing in quantum research and education to build the workforce and infrastructure needed for this quantum future. In the end, the advent of quantum computing may well change the world as we know it. The future is quantum, and it is closer than we might think.